Good morning, Golf High. Today's Tuesday, November 12th, 2019. I'm Larry Wood. And I'm Matthew Duncan, coming to you from WBUC Studios with today's school news. The word of the day today is litigious, meaning prone to engage in lawsuits. Could you use that in a sentence, Matthew? I sure can, Larry. Joshua was a litigious man. He even tried to sue his own dog. For lunch today, we'll be having PB&J sandwich, beef street tacos, Cuban sandwich, and a salad bar. And now for today's weather forecast. Good morning, Bucks. Today we have a high of 81, but the cool weather is making an appearance with a low of 55. Stay warm and have a great day, Golf High. Today in history. In 1799, the first meteor shower on record is seen. And in 1990, Akihito is enthroned as Emperor of Japan. And that's today's history. Here's some news, Bucks. Tomorrow is World Kindness Day. Make kindness the norm and start by giving a compliment to a member of our staff. The senior quotes deadline has been extended to Friday, December 6th. Please see Ms. Evans in room 251 or for a form or with any questions. There will be a SAD club meeting on November 15th. It will be at 2 p.m. in guidance. Everyone is welcome to come. Congratulations to Bailey Weaver placed 10th in the FH, FHS. Oh my goodness, all right. You don't have to say that if you want to. Just say the girls' golf state competition. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. Congratulations to Bailey Weaver, placed 10th in the, girls state in the girls' golf state competition. World Fair tickets will be sold at both lunches all this week. You can buy one ticket for $1, six tickets for $5, or 15 tickets for $10. The World Fair is November 22nd. Here's an announcement from Ms. Seltzer. Good morning, Buccaneers. This is Mrs. Seltzer, your friendly neighborhood English teacher, and I'm looking for writers for our new school newspaper. That's right, guys. We need writers for our school newspaper. First, check it out. Our school newspaper is digital. You can check it out at ghsgreenandblack.org. Okay, read some of the articles our journalism students have posted. If you're interested, please come on down to my classroom after school on Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday, room 245 at 2 o'clock. You can talk to some of the journalism students and see what it takes to be a writer. So I uh, look forward to hearing from you all. If you have any questions, please come see me in room 245. Thanks, and go Bucks. The boys' soccer team played a great game last night, but in heartbreaking fashion, they lost 5-3. to three. Happy birthday to Anne Hathaway. And happy birthday to Russell Westbrook. And now for the joke of the day. What is the tallest building in the entire world? The library, because it has so many stories. That's all for our news. Have a great, great National, National Young, Young Readers, Readers Day, Day, Golf. Hi. Why is it important to read aloud to kids? I can only answer from my own experience. To me, it was the closest I ever felt to my parents. And it's it was at the very moment when I was learning to read and discovering the joy of reading and this extraordinary realization that, that words tell stories. It's really as simple as that. In our household, it was very much just a part of the rhythm of life, bedtime, reading at bedtime. Sometimes it would go on for as long as an hour. I think when you read to children, you just have to read in your own voice. It's, uh, 
communicate with them. No, everybody's not an actor and doesn't need to be an actor. You don't have to perform it. Uh, just enjoy the process. And I think the, the other important thing is to do it regularly. Make it a part of a part of the kid's life and part of your life. I think another important thing about reading to kids is uh, it's important to parents. Being read to by my mom and dad is the closest I ever felt to them, and I'm sure they feel the same way that, that I do. Certainly the way I feel about reading to my kids when they were little. I'm John Lithgow. Please join the Kansas City Public